Welcome to Latricia Creates. I am Latricia. In today's video, we're going to create a dishwasher magnet using our embroidery machine. Let's take a look at the materials we're going to use for this project. We need our hoop. I'm going to use a 4x4 four four hoop, some water soluble stabilizer, embroidery scissors, embroidery thread with the matching bobbin for our satin stitch at the end, tea head pins, of course these are optional, a magnet, an optional piece of ribbon, felt, and two pieces of fabric. These are cut about four and a half to five inches. Our design is about 3.65 by 3.68, I believe. So it's less than four inches, but I cut the fabric about an inch more than I needed. And those are all of the supplies that we're gonna be using today. You ready? Let's make it. I'm here at the embroidery machine. I'm going to place my hoop on the machine and get ready to stitch out our design. As you can see, the design is already on the machine. It is a 17 minute stitch out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch down the piece of felt. I'm going to place the felt to around here in the middle of the machine. Drop the foot and press go. Now we're going to cut the excess fabric. We're going to cut as close as we can to the stitch line without cutting the stitches. We want to make sure that we don't cut the stitches. I'm going to go ahead and take the hoop off of the machine, cut around the stitches, and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to load the hoop back into the machine. Now we're ready for the next step, which is to put our first piece of fabric down. I'm also going to add my ribbon at this point in time because I want my ribbon to hang out so that I can put the magnet on the ribbon to hang on my dishwasher. So I'm going to get a piece of tape and tape down the ribbon. I'm going to tape it as close to the center as possible. And now I'm going to add the piece of fabric. Now we're ready for the next step. Now we're going to trim around this piece of fabric the same way that we trimmed around the felt. I'm going to take it off the machine, trim it up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, it's all trimmed up. Now we're going to put the hoop back in and get ready for our next step.
Now it's time to trim the fabric from the back like we did before. I'm going to take the tape off. And trim the back fabric as close as I can to the stitch line. Now I'm going to change my bobbin thread to match the final set and stitch out. All right, our design is all complete. Now let's head back over to the cutting table to finish it up. We are back at the cutting table with our finished product. I am so excited about this magnet. Now it's time to clean it up. There's a bunch of jump stitches that need to be cut away. So I'm going to clean it up and get rid of all these jump stitches. And now I'm going to cut it away from the tape margin. I'm going to cut it down as close to the stitches as possible without cutting the stitches. And then I'm going to put some water on here to clean it up so that you don't see any of the tape margin. I got a bowl of water and a Q-tip to clean this stabilizer off. And there we have it, our beautiful magnet for our dishwasher. Are your dishes clean or are your dishes dirty? Now our design is all cleaned up and ready for our magnet. I am going to use some E6000 glue for the magnet. I'm going to put it on the back in the center. I'm going to let this glue dry on the magnet, then it will be ready to go on the dishwasher. Here is our final project. I am so excited about this dishwasher magnet. I can't wait to put it on my dishwasher. I hope this video was helpful for you and you were able to make this magnet as well, or at least you plan on making it. Please let me know in the comments below. If you got anything out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, keep creating. Thank you.